Are you interested in making a video for teaching? If you are, we're here to help. Here's an overview of how to make a video. So do you want to connect with your students? Perhaps even use YouTube to make a lesson and put it in a video format? Or how do you do it? Well, let's start with designing your lesson. So you can tell a story. So you should know your audience properly. Focus on what the problem is. So you state the problem. Why should people believe you know the solution? Why? What's your credentials? And obviously your solution to the problem. And at the end of your video, on some type of call to action. So in this video, who's the audience? Well, you're the audience. What do you want? You want some information? You want it free? You want it easy to use and suitable for you? So basically, how do you just make a simple, free, easy video? The problem is you don't have the knowledge or the tools. So you need to know what tools to use and how to use them. So why us? Well, we have that knowledge and we can give it to you for free. So keep watching. We'll show you some videos of the tools that we'll use and just a brief overview of using those tools to give you an idea. So what do you need? You need a microphone. You need something to record yourself. So we suggest you Audacity, PowerPoint, I'm sure you're used to using already. For screen capture, we'll use OBS. Camera, if you want to record yourself. What about animation? Well, we'll include some here, but be careful. Are you sure it's free? Mm. Once you've created your audio and your video, you'll need to edit it. So use something like Shotcut as a video editor. And how do you store it and how do you let students access it easily? Well, one solution to that is to put it on YouTube. The pictures we use in the PowerPoint, by the way, are from Pexel's website. So here's our overview of the tools. We can start off with OBS. Here we display the capture so you can see the picture of what's on the screen. And we've also opened up this audio input which is basically the microphone now for audio we said we can use audacity this is quite simple to use if you want to record your voice just press record and you can see now we have the sound pattern matching my voice which is coming in via the microphone so if we stop that if we want to edit it we can highlight a section for example just press delete that will go and then we can play that and you can see now we have the sound pattern matching my voice which is coming in via the microphone so if we stop that the only thing you need to remember is if you save the project it's saving audacity if you want the sound file you have to export so you can export as mp3 for example so we can save that my voice on the desktop and that's saved okay so what else we will need to do we need to record the PowerPoint slides so here we've got our PowerPoint we've got some slides in this setup what we need to do we need to go to the slideshow and set up and in this case we're going to use it as a window okay so if we go back to our OBS we can use a window capture and now we can look at our PowerPoint so if we was to start our PowerPoint you can see that in our window you might need to adjust it you can adjust it by moving the window so what you can see And we're going to stop that there because we're using the display capture and then we're going to change over to do the window capture for our slides so we look at our PowerPoint slides 
remember we look through what we might need so we need a microphone so I'm talking through the microphone audacity we've just seen to record a voice PowerPoint slides as you've seen we're using the PowerPoint slides you probably have your own Cabra if you want to record yourself you don't have to what about animation well we made a small animation and <laughs> Okay, we're going back to display capture, so we can take our window capture off, take that, remove that, so we're now back to our display. And the reason why, I want to go back to PowerPoint, and you can see the slides, I can click on the first one, and what I'm going to do here, if you watch, I'm doing file, save as, right, what I'm going to do, is make a thumbnail. So I'm going to save it as a GIF file. So I've called it thumbnail. It's a graphics interchange format file, a GIF file. And I'll just press save and it asks me which slide and I'm just doing that one, just that one. Okay. So if I go to my desktop, if I click on my thumbnail, now I've created a thumbnail. Uh, but we can use when you create the YouTube video. So that was creating our thumbnail, and I recorded that again using the OBS. Okay, we're going to look at our video editor, which we use Shotcut. So here we've got a playlist. We can drag our files into the playlist. And then video editors normally work on what's called a timeline. So we can add a video track. We can start with our display capture. Make sure it's at the right place. And we've got our window capture. Again, make sure it's joined. And inside our window capture, we had this slide about animation. So that was about here. So we can look for the slide on animation. Here we go. Now, if we're going to put the animation video in here that lasts about 30 seconds, we need to move this. So we're going to split this, give it some 30 seconds of room. And then we have just that um, slide. So we're going to put that in there. And then we're going to have another video track with the animation at the same time. So we've got the camera there. So that's the okay. This side is okay. Now, what we can do with this video, we want to put it in a square here so we can create a filter and a video. We're going to change the slide, uh, sorry, size and the position. now we've got the video playing inside here. Do. Now when we want to export this file when we're finished we can export 
here we've got YouTube export file give it a name so we say teaching videos save and you'll see now that shortcut is creating that video and that video is the one that we're going to put inside YouTube next we're going to finish off looking at how to put the video on YouTube so we go to YouTube first and if you've got a channel you can simply upload a video here we have upload video and you just drag your file where it says drag and you'll see here you put your title here your description and down below you can put your thumbnail so remember we had a thumbnail before and once that's there it will give you your address here and that will create your video file and put it on YouTube once it's finished you click publish and that's your uploaded video so good luck with that okay thank you for watching and if you wish to do so please subscribe